Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I am here with a second video to my makeup collection series and today's video will be dedicated to my highlighter collection. The first video that I posted which I will link to down below was my foundation collection and in that video I asked you guys which one you wanted to see next and the very first comment I got was to do highlighters. So I have a ton of highlighters to share with you guys today. Um, those are just two trays from my Muji drawers that have highlighters, but I have other ones here. So I do have a ton of things to share with you guys, and I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun watching this video. So the very first highlighters I'm gonna start off with are my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And these are some of my favorite highlighters of all time. They're actually the very first highlighters that I really ever owned. Actually, the very first highlight I remember was that liquid Chanel Soleil Tan, the Chanel, but the liquid version. That's one that I had years and years ago, which I actually had to get rid of it already because it was just so old that I just threw it away. It still smelled great, but I don't know why. I threw that one away. So that's the first time I ever tried a highlight was that Chanel one. I remember I got two. One was like a bronzy color, which is the one that they still have now. I remember it was the color Sunkist. And then I had one that was more like a little bit white, but it was those liquid ones. But then I found the MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes and I just fell in love with those. So I'm not gonna swatch them all for you, but I will definitely swatch my favorites for you guys. And the very first one I have is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Petticoat. I also have one that is a favorite and it's definitely a popular one. It's called Soft and Gentle. I have this one called Light Scapade. This one is actually one of my favorites and this is what it looks like. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a beautiful one called Light Scapade. And my other favorite, I think this is the best one. This is my favorite one of the MAC one, and this one is Perfect Topping. I haven't seen this one again, um, the Perfect Topping one. I know Light Scapade is available now because I saw it recently, but Perfect Topping is one of my favorite highlighters from MAC. I think it's like my number one from the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finishes, so I hope that they bring that one back. They usually do, they come in and then they come out. This one is called Gold Deposit. This is one that is kind of hard to wear. I mean, this is more one that maybe you would put a little bit on top of bronzer. Maybe this one should be included in the bronzers, but I'll just mention it now. It's a very bright, bright highlight, and it's like this color. It is hard to wear. I think it's a hard color to wear as a highlight since it looks like that, but it's definitely one that I would probably wear just in the summertime. Maybe if I wanna just put it over my bronzer as a little bit of a glow. Another one I have is this one called Blonde, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a pinky toned highlighter. Let me swatch that one for you. That's what it looks like. Again, this is another one that it's not like my favorite just because it's so pink, but you can probably put it over a pretty blush so that it just gives the blush a little bit more of a glow. This one here is called Smooth Merge. This is another one of the MAC Mirai Skin Finishes. Then I have this one. This is a special reserve highlight powder. That's what this is called. And it is the Cheche Lame or Cheche Lame. I don't know what it's called, but this is what it looks like. This is a nice one. It's very, it's a very natural highlight. It's not as colorful as the other ones. Let me show it to you right here so you guys can kind of like check it out. It's not as bright as the other ones. It's more of a natural one. I haven't seen this one in a while. And then also from MAC, I have this beauty powder in Play It Proper. It looks like this. It's a very light, light pink, but I wouldn't wear this as a blush. I would definitely wear this as a highlighter. And it is actually a very, very pretty color. Like now it's like I'm swatching them all again because I haven't worn these in a while. And that is what that one looks like right on this finger. So those were the MAC ones and like I said, my two favorites are definitely Light Scapade and Perfect Topping. These are the two that I absolutely love and they're the ones that I always grab from the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. From NARS, I have the NARS Albatross Highlighter. This is a very beautiful highlighter. It is a very popular one from NARS. This is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful, it's kind of like golden tone and it's just a very beautiful highlight. 
Also from NARS, even though these aren't the full size, I'm still gonna share them with you guys. I also have a little one of these um, Orgasm from NARS, and then I also have Copacabana. I've actually even had the Copacabana in the stick form, but they also have this in the Illuminator liquid form. These are also really nice. Um, I don't have the full size, but I have used these um, deluxe samples that I got and they're very, very beautiful. You can even mix them in with your foundation. If you want like an all over glow, you put a very little or you can just use them in the areas where you actually want to highlight. Next, I have my highlighters from Hourglass. I absolutely love the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. I think I have them all from Hourglass. This is the first one. I have Ethereal Light. This is a very beautiful one. It is very, very light. I've even used this as a setting powder. You can also use it as a very light highlight. I've even used it as a under eye um, setting powder and I put it over my concealer and it works really great. But I mean, these are just really great powders and you can use them for a lot of different things. This one here is Diffuse Light. Same thing, just like Ethereal. I've used this as a very light highlight, as a setting powder. Most of all, this is the one that I have been using as my setting powder for my concealer. But I do want to mention them in, these video, in this video because they are the ambient lighting powders. And even though these are the ethereal light and the diffuse light, I don't really use as a highlight. You can also use them as a very light highlight. My favorite one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders has got to be the Luminous Light, which is this one right here. It is a very natural highlighter. And if I had to pick one for these powders as a highlight, this is the one that I would pick. Or if you're lucky enough to get the Hourglass, the actual Ambient Lighting Palette, then this also will be a great option. It doesn't have the Luminous Light, but it has Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and it has the Radiant Light. So I was actually lucky that I bought the um, I bought the luminous one in the full size. I pretty much the ones that were in this palette I didn't buy the full size because I was able to get them all in this palette and then the other ones I did get in the separate one. But still, my favorite is definitely the luminous light. But this is a great option to try more than one of the ambient lighting powders if you can get the palette. And the last one that I have is mood light, which is this one right here. It's more of a pinky toned highlight but it's also very beautiful i really really love these ambient lighting powders from hourglass next i have the fresh twilight this is a fresh face glow i really love this i can use this either on its own or i can use it maybe under my foundation and kind of use it as a primer really love it i love it because it's really really moisturizing but it just feels great on the skin it is pretty thick so if you don't like thick products, this is probably something that you will not like. But I mean, it's time for me to get a new one. This is what it looks like. It's actually already getting a little um, empty, the bottle. But you can definitely see just how natural it is. And it just feels so good on the skin. I like it because I have dry skin, so it feels good because it's kind of moisturizing. It doesn't really have a smell. I was just trying to remember if I liked the smell. But it just looks so glowy. You can definitely just use it on its own or you can even mix it in with your foundation really really love this definitely something that i will buy again from benefit i also have the high beam and i love the packaging it's one of those things that looks like it's a nail polish and this gives you a really beautiful glow on your skin i usually just dot a little bit on the center of my nose and a little bit here and it just looks great from benefit i have girl meets pearl this is another one, I love the packaging. It's like the little glue that we used to have when we were in school. You kind of just push it out and you kind of get like this like rosy liquid. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see the shine. It's kind of hard for these things to show. Again, this is something that I've worn. I've worn it very various ways. I've worn it as a primer. I've mixed it in with my foundation or I've just applied it on top of all my makeup just to give you a nice glow. It is a very natural glow. It kind of reminds me of the, this one, of the Twilight, but the Twilight is more of a pearly glow, whereas the Girl Meets Pearl, even though that one's called Pearl, I feel like it's more of a goldy glow, whereas this one seems more like a, like a whitish pearl glow. So it is a very beautiful color. Now that I'm seeing it here on my skin, it's just like, I haven't used it in a long time. I need to use it again. From MAC, 
I have a few of these cream color bases and these are really great for highlight. The very first one that I'm gonna share with you guys is this one called Shell. And these are very beautiful to use as a highlight because they really stick to your skin. What I like to do is I kinda just like to warm it up, put it on my hand, and then I just kinda dip my brush and pat it on my face. So I have Shell. I also have Pearl, which is this one right here. And I also have Luna, which is this one right here that is more of a white color. So these are the MAC Cream Color Bases, which are really great as a highlight. Another highlight that I've had for years, and it is definitely one of my all-time favorites, is from Fresh. And this is called the Satin Luster. It's a little palette, and it has three highlights. It has China Pearl, Peach Butterfly, and Winter Rose. And they look like this. I've had this for a really long time. It's actually lasted a really long time and they just do not dry out. But it is a beautiful palette to have. These are cream highlighters and they're just so, so beautiful. Let me see if I can swatch these three for you. That is what the colors look like. You can see them here on my hand. They're beautiful, beautiful highlighters. I love this palette. I totally recommend it. I hope they still have it available because um, I don't have a fresh store near me, unfortunately, but they do have it at a Nordstrom up in Aventura Mall. It's a little far from my house, but they do have them and I haven't seen that in a while. So that's why I'm thinking, hope it hasn't been discontinued. From Benefit, I have the What's Up. This is another cream highlight and it looks like this. So this is what the Benefit What's Up looks like. Let me put it on my hand so you can kind of see it. And it has the top part has the product and then the bottom part has like a little spongy, which I never use. I always prefer to use a brush. From Lorac, I have the Oil Free Luminizer. I have not used this in a really long time. And this is a also a really good highlight. It kind of reminds me of that Chanel one that I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of the video. Um, this is also kind of like a white type of color. So a little bit goes a long way. You can, I do the same thing. I sometimes put it on my hand, then just um, dip the brush in it and just kind of like pat the brush. But it is a very beautiful highlight. Again, this is also a really good one that you can also mix with your foundation. From Hard Candy, I have the So Baked Bronzer in Tiki. And even though this is called a bronzer, I wanted to mention it in my highlight video because I do not use this as a bronzer. I love to use this as a highlighter. It is a very beautiful highlight color and I use it as a highlighter, not a bronzer, but it's a very beautiful, affordable highlighter that you can find it at Walmart. That's where you can find the hard candy products. And then my newest additions to my highlighting collection are these right here. And I have two from Becca. The first one is this Moonstone Highlighter. It is so beautiful. And I also have the Opal. I actually recently mentioned my Opal. I just filmed it today in my June favorites. I mentioned the Opal Highlighter. It's just such a beautiful color. This right here is the Opal Highlighter. Let me just put it in my hand so you can see it. Can you see that right there? That is the Opal Highlight. And then let me show you what Moonstone looks like right next to it. These are the ones that I just recently got not too long ago and I have really been loving them. There is Moonstone and there is Opal. So I'm gonna get the new one that they're gonna release soon, which is called Champagne Pop. So these are Becca, these are like, I have to say these I like, they're very, they're not as soft and natural as maybe the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders are. The Luminous Light is the one that I feel is the one that shows the most from the Hourglass and I love it because it's so natural. But I also love these, they're not as natural as that one and they give you like this wow glow. I always like to call it the Jennifer Lopez glow because she always has glowy skin. So it's more like an obvious glow, but it's not, not in a bad way, it's still so beautiful. Then another one that I got not too long ago is the Mary Luminizer. I ended up getting this on Amazon.com. I've heard, I've heard about it a gazillion times. I just have never bought it. And this is another one that is also like a very, like it's like also like a very 
big glow. How do I explain it? It's just as strong as the Becca ones. It's not a natural glow. It's more of like a Vava Vavum glow that is very obvious and you can definitely tell. It's not as natural. I even feel like this one kind of reminds me a little bit of the Moonstone, but it's more, it's stronger than the Moonstone. It's, it's less natural than the Moonstone. So I feel like the luminous light is the most natural. In the middle we have the Becca ones, which you can definitely tell on your skin that you're wearing a highlight. And then this Mary Luminizer is also one that is very obvious on the skin, but beautiful. Not like over the top glittery or anything like that. It's just a beautiful shimmery glow on your skin. Amazing for the summer. I also got the Becca highlight in the liquid. This is a shimmering skin perfecter, but these are the ones that are in the cream form, like the liquid form, not the powder. And I got the smaller size. These were like $19. The bigger size um, is like, I think it's like 40 something dollars. And I guess since I saw that Sephora carried this smaller size, I just wanted to try it first before I actually committed to the $40 one. And these are beautiful. They're also in Moonstone and this is Opal. So these are really beautiful. Let me show you some swatches of these. So I don't know if you can see that, but this one right here is the Moonstone. And again, this is something that you can either apply on its own after you do your makeup, or I've seen it mixed in with the foundation a lot. And then this one is the Opal. Let me see if you can see that. That is the Opal. I already blended into my hand both really beautiful i'm excited to try these i really haven't used these all that much but um it does have a very nice highlight on the skin my latest edition highlight and this is kind of like a highlight contour little palette is the charlotte tilbury this is the film star bronze and glow so i just thought i would share this one in this video because the highlight is very beautiful i just recently bought it i actually did a video where i showed you guys my charlotte tilbury haul today i've been filming a lot of videos and i also i also showed this one in that video but since this is a highlight collection i also wanted to mention it one more time so that is pretty much all my highlighting products in my makeup collection i really hope that you guys try some of my favorite highlights out and that you had a lot of fun watching this video and as always i want to say thank you so much for watching be lounge makeup bye